Hello one everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Kunji. Today I'm going to be making some oxtail. We're going to be cooking that oxtail and my Ninja Foodi on the pressure cooker setting for about 20 minutes. What I did, I put some hot water in there so that will speed up the process to get it up to temp. But I have some potatoes, some carrots, and some other veggies. I have here some dried seasonings, some browning, and I do have some canned butter beans, lima beans, the same beans, um, and everything else. So follow me on this video. I'm going to make this under 10 minutes as usual. Macarena boy. This is some ginger and this is just a preference of mine. The ginger is one of those things that hides spice very well. So this will, even though I put a lot of pepper in my oxtail or in most things that I cook, when I add ginger it kind of hides that spice so it's not necessarily a burning your mouth spice but it makes it a really refreshing kind of spice There's several ways that you can cook oxtail. So, no right or wrong way. I'm choosing to do the pressure cooker method because if you're busy, you know, if you just got home from work and you got just an hour or so to make dinner, this is a perfect way. And after getting the, the oxtail cooked really it's all about making sure the potatoes and the carrots are done to your soup and that makes a really nice sauce this is my habanero pepper it's a frequent flyer and all my spicy dishes Again, you could use any pepper or no pepper. Just, you know, however much spice you can take. The potato in this dish is strictly to give the sauce some body. So I'm not making it too thick of cubes. If you can get that potato to start breaking down, it will make that sauce a little bit more rich quicker in a natural way. After 20 minutes in the pressure cooker, my oxtail is cooked, but not overdone. So it's not falling off the bone right now. But for 20 minutes in a pressure cooker, that's really good. And because it's, this is a lot, this is like uh, about three pounds of oxtail. So I'm gonna finish this on the stove top. I'm gonna add my veggies and beans to this right now. And this should be done in about 20 minutes or so.
the wave of consciousness. Rebellion rises. Rebellion rises. Rebellion rises. Rebellion rises. Rebellion rises. So right now I'm adding my browning and my dried seasonings. There is nothing on this before. That's why I put it in the pressure cooker. So right now the browning is gonna help give it a color. Right now I'm getting the beans and the liquid from the beans. Get my potatoes and carrots. We change time. We change time. We change time. We change time. We let me hear you say. And right now I'm gonna add about a cup or a cup and a half of hot water. And get this going. You'll notice about this oxtail is that I have not added any fat from an additional source. The only fat that's going to be in this right now is the fat off of the oxtail. So this should, this should be a really nice, less fat bit of oxtail. We're going to just let that simmer right now for about. 15 minutes. I'm going to start it on high. And after it comes to a boil, then I'll put it on medium heat. 15 or 20 minutes, oxtail should be ready. All right, I'm going to go ahead and steam some rice. All right, now this is my 15 minute check. See what's going on. Oxtail is coming together real nice. So right now I'm just waiting for the potatoes to start breaking down and the carrots. And we can start. It's starting to build a really nice sauce already. That's real good. As soon as the potatoes start to cook and break down, then it's, it's going to be real good. And then, looking at it, oxtails still nice and firm, but they are cooked, not falling apart. I didn't pressure cook it for too long, so. Alright. Soon done. Mm. It smells so good right now. It's all done. You can see these potatoes are cooked all the way through, starting to break down. See they're not as sharp. Carrots, good. Have a really nice sauce. It's gonna go well over the rice. Yeah. Good deal. So this is it for this oxtail today. This is a little different. This is, to recap, this was using the Ninja Foodie pressure cooker setting for about 20 minutes and then bringing this together on the stove top for about 20 to 25 minutes. So really you can make oxtail in less than an hour. Really still delicious. And if you're in a pinch and you wanna just do something, you know, you got home from work, Etc. 
um, really good right now. This is so good. Thank you for watching this video today. Steps and ingredients are in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. If you make this or any meal that you see on my channel, don't forget, take pictures, tag me on Instagram. Thank you for watching. See you in the next protest and we are its biggest stranger the wave of consciousness rebellion